Hi guys, here's another Pilates class coming for you. I'm all set with my Madonna shirt. I love her. And all today, all you need today is uh, a little TheraBand or a towel, something you can stretch your hamstrings with. And, or if you, when you do some roll-ups, if you want to support your lower back, you can grab a little shirt, roll it up in a, roll up in a line and put it underneath your lower back to give you some support. At the end of class today, I'll go through some foam roller things for you that you can uh, add on to your workout, okay? So here we go, guys. We're going to start standing up. Right, I miss you guys. Okay, you want to have your feet about a shoulder width apart. And we're going to start with the most important thing, breathing. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, open the head up to the ceiling. Shh. Let's do it two more times. Inhale, bend the knees. Straighten the legs. Exhale, open the head up. That's a nice forced exhale. Inhale. Now don't force the exhale. Just a nice natural exhale. Excellent. Now I want you to put your right hand on your stomach and your left hand on your back. I want you to lean forward. Feeling those back muscles activate, keeping the feet flat onto the floor. And now you're gonna lean back. And you're gonna feel your stomach muscles kick in here. And you're gonna lean forward. Feeling the back muscles connect. And then leaning back. And feeling the stomach muscles. Now come right to the center, right into the neutral. And now, Let's pronate, pronate and supinate the feet, going side and side and side, internal one, external the other, pronate and supinate, and come back right to the center and finding your neutral. Now, stay facing front. I'm going to go to the side. What we're going to do is we're going to bend the knees, inhale, bend the knees. Now you want to feel like you're sliding the back down a wall. I want you to stick that booty out. I want you to go inhale and exhale. Strong arms to the back and inhale and exhale. Strong, big breath. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale. Work yourself ears. And now bend the knees. And the right hand grabs the left wrist and you reach up and over to the right. That's called your lateral flexion. And come back. Left hand grabs the right wrist. Reach up first and then over to your left. And come back. Let's do that one more time. Right hand, left wrist. Reach up and over. Now I want you to breathe. I want you to take the inhale through that left rib cage. Inhale. Feeling that stretch and exhale. And come back to the center. Left hand, right wrist, up and over to your left. Now take that breath right into that right rib cage. And exhale. And come up. Exhale, you're gonna reach up and over. You're gonna dive all the way down. There you go. Bend the knees slightly, straighten the legs, bend the knees, straighten the legs, and slowly round up, one vertebra at a time, coming up like a rag doll. Rag doll! Bend the knees. And we're gonna do that again, reach up and oh, diving. And now I want you to nod your head, yes. Yes, Richie, whatever you say. Hold it, go halfway up and go back down. And we're gonna go on all fours, which we call quadruped, okay? How you guys doing, good? There's my Mona Lisa in the back looking at us. Look at how fierce we are. Okay, now we're gonna do protraction and retraction of the shoulder girdle. You wanna keep your arms nice and straight. And we're going to go into retraction. Oh, look at that. That is so ugly. And protraction all the way up. 
retraction. Drop the chest, keep those arms straight, and protraction. Two more, retract, protract. One more, retract, and protract. Now stay right there. I want you to tuck the pelvis under and round the spine all the way up. Flexion. And now go into the extension, reaching. <laughs> extension. And uh, flexion, rounding the spine up. And extension, reaching up. And one more. Rounding. That's an angry cat. Yeah. And reaching up. <laughs> And come back right into the neutral spine, right in the middle. I want you to just lift the right foot up. Keep the knee down or the foot closest to the camera. And that foot wags. And you look at that foot on that side. And now you cross that foot. Internally rotate. And open it out. And cross it. And one more. Open. And cross. And come back. If your wrists are bothering you, you can either go up on your um, fist or you can fold the mat, round the mat several times and go over. It'll give you a little less pressure on your wrist, okay? And now lift that left foot up or the back foot up. Keep the knee down, foot wags to the left. Look at that foot. And foot goes internal wag and external open. And internal in. One more external out. And internal in. And come back down. Now, make sure the sh our hands are right underneath the shoulders. I want you to inhale. Fill that belly button up. Without moving the spine, I want you to exhale. Lift that navel in and up. Shh. Navel in and up. And one more inhale. And exhale. Shh. Holding that navel in and up. Pressing down on that left hand or the back arm. And reach the front arm out to the side. Hold it. Putting pressure on that left arm. And now that, that front arm goes down. The arm that's to the back, which is my left arm. Putting pressure on my front arm. That arm goes out to the side. And that arm comes down. That navel is still in and up. And putting put pressure on that left arm. That front arm goes out to the side. The front arm goes to the front. It goes to the side. And then it goes down. Putting pressure on that front arm, which is my right arm. That left arm goes out to the side. It goes to the front. It goes to the side. And then it goes down. And we sit back into a child's pose. It's good. Let's stretch it out. Go towards the front over here. Towards me. And then come to the center. And then go away from me. And come to the center. Excellent. And now let's lay back down. So maybe I'll lay, I'll lay this way today. That feels good. And come back down. Oh, I should do that a little more Pilates like hands behind the alt legs and round all the way down. Better. Okay. So we're gonna start with some pelvic tilt. I want you to inhale, arching the back, and exhale, tucking the pelvis under. And inhale, arching. And exhale, tucking. And arching. And tucking. And one more inhale. And exhale. And come back to that neutral spine right in the middle. Hands go behind the head. So you should have a little arch on your lower back, right? Hands go behind your head. Take an inhale. Exhale, tuck the pelvis under, roll up, stay. Reach the arms up to the ceiling. Reach the arms on the back of the legs. Roll up just an inch. 
let go of the legs, reach up to the sky, hands go behind the head, roll down, inhale, arch the back. Exhale, tuck the pelvis under, rolling up. Shh. Navel is in, arms up. Keep breathing, hands on the back of the legs, roll up an inch, let go, up to the sky, behind the head, and roll down. Two more times, a little arch here on the inhale. Exhale, tuck under, rolling up, reaching up, back of the legs, roll up an inch, let go, up, behind the head, and roll down. One more. Inhale, arching. Exhale, tuck. Sh roll up. Arms up. Back of the legs. Roll up an inch. Let go. Up behind the head. And roll down. Oh, that was so good. A nice little warm up here. So we have that neutral spine, very important, maintaining the neutral. Bring the right leg to a tabletop and the left leg to a tabletop. Good, now we're gonna do some toe taps. We're gonna keep the pelvis still and just dip the right toe down, inhale. Exhale, lift it up, Shh. Inhale, left. Exhale, lift, Shh. Inhale, right. Exhale, using those lower abs, guys. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, right down. Now we're going to do prancing. Oh, I love that word, prancing. Ah! And we prance. Prance. Now the pelvis is still. We'll keep breathing. And prance. 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 Prance, 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 prance. One more set. Prance, prance. Bring the knees into the chest. You should feel those lower abs working there. Excellent. And put your feet down. We're going to go on to some bridging, okay? I want you to do bridging in parallel today. So keep the feet in parallel. We take an inhale. We have a little space underneath your lower back. We exhale, we tuck the pelvis under, and we lift the hips up. Now, our rib cage is in. We're not opening up those ribs like yoga. Namaste away. We're gonna namaste with those ribs in. Take an inhale, and exhale. We're gonna round the spine down. One vertebra at a time. Come to that neutral spine. Take an inhale. And exhale, tucking under. Lifting the hips all the way up. Hold it. Take an inhale. Exhale, soften and round down. Think of rounding down one vertebra at a time, like a string of pearls dropping one at a time. Back to that little arch, the neutral spine. Take an inhale. Exhale, tucking under. Peeling the hips up. Drop the hips halfway down. Pulse up 10 times. Glutes one. Glutes two. Glutes three. Glutes four. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. Hold it, eight ribs are in, and rounding down. Good. We're gonna do one more bridge, we're gonna add some marching, because I love a parade. Take an inhale, exhale, tucking under, peeling up, stay up. Now, pushing down into that left foot, or the back leg, bring the front leg up to a tabletop, holding that left leg down. Now put the front leg down, pushing into that front leg, using that glute where the thigh meets the butt there, and we're gonna use the back leg up to a tabletop. 
and put the back leg down. Pushing down at that back leg. Lift the front leg up. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Front leg down. Pushing into the front leg. Back leg lifts and hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Put that back leg down. Lift the hips up an inch and rounding all the way down. Excellent, brava! And reach the leg straight out. Oh, I'm getting my Madonna shirt all sweaty. I want you to flex the feet, open up the feet, the width of the mat, arms up to the ceiling and towards the back wall, but not on the floor. You don't want them to rest on the floor, because look at my rib cage. Oh, that's gross. You want to keep those ribs in. Inhale, lift the arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, rounding over. Now, stay in that flexion. If you have a problem getting up here, you feel like you're forcing yourself, this is where you get that little towel, roll it up, or sweatshirt, and put it underneath your lower back. It will assist you in coming up. And hold it. And now, rounding back, slowly, slowly. All the way down, arms up and towards the back wall. Inhale, arms up, exhale, over. <sighs> Rounding, navels pull back, reaching the arm forward. Feel like you have a seatbelt around your abdominals. And rounding back. Keep going, keep going slow, stop there. Go up an inch. And rounding back. And come up. Oh, Madonna, we got three more. Inhale. Let me see your ray of light. Exhale. Now we breathing. So dramatic. And rounding back. Rounding. Two more. Inhale, arms up. Exhale. Shh. Oh, yeah, I did it. I'm so fierce. Hold it. And rounding back. Oh, yes. Now let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Shh. And rounding back. Woo. Yes. Oh, that was so much fun. This next exercise, we usually do this on the reformer arm work. So it usually has straps with it. But we're going to do it without the straps. We're going to do it on the mat. Same series. But I just want you to feel the resistance of the arms as you're pressing down. Okay? So... We're gonna bring the right leg to a tabletop, left leg to a tabletop, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, press the arms out, Shh, like you're going through water. Really feel that connection to the arms. Inhale, arms up, and exhale. Shh. Inhale, arms up, one more. Exhale. Shh. Inhale, arms up. Now we're gonna add a curl. Exhale, curl up, hold it. As the arms go by the knees, roll the head down. And now one more, but you're gonna straighten the legs. Exhale, hold it. Arms up and down two times. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Bend the knees, roll up an inch. Roll down, bring the arms to a letter of V. Arms press down three times. One. And up. Use resistance like you're going through the water. Oh, two. And up. Three. And up. Add a curl. Curl the head up. One. Hold it. As the arms go by the knees, roll the head down. On the next one, straighten the legs. Hold it. Arms up and down two times. V for Vogue. 
and down. Let's see what I did there. And up and down. Hold it. Bend the knees. Roll up an inch. Roll down to a letter T. Arms press out. Shh. And up. Two. And up. Three. And up. Add the curl. Curl up. One. Hold it. Open. Lay down. Curl up. Straighten the legs. Hold it. Open and close two times. One, two, hold it, bend the knees, roll up an inch, and roll down. Hug your knees into your chest. Oh, yes. Yes, see, you can do that without weight. You're using the resistance of that arm. And circle three times. One, two, we just worked it out. That's what's up. And the other way, one. Ah, oh, two, three. Okay, now it's time. The world famous hundred. We have help with my little girl Madonna. Here it is. Ready? Right leg tabletop. Left leg tabletop. Whew. Roll the head up. Legs out, and we inhale. And exhale for five. Two. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Bend the knees, roll up an inch, and roll down. Ooh, I am feeling it today. I tell ya. Okay, here we go. So now it's time to do a little stretch. We have a heart rate up. We're a little warm. Back leg is straight out. Front leg, which is my right leg, part of your left leg. Reach it up to the ceiling. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, queens. And now bend that top leg and straighten it. And then you flex the bottom leg and straighten. Point the top foot, point the bottom. And flex both and point. Let go of that back hand. Open up that other hand to the side. Yeah, oh, I just felt the hip pop. Shakira hips don't lie. And now cross the leg over the lovely IT band. Oh, sickle that foot for extra credit. Yes, feeling that stretch along the outside of the leg. And come back, pull one more time. It's best if you have a neutral spine here, not to tuck the pelvis under. When you tuck the pelvis under, the hamstring goes with the pelvis. If you keep a neutral spine, the hamstring stretches away from the pelvis. And come in. And I just gave you a, what was that? And other foot up. Oh, I'm losing it, guys. So we're going to flex that foot and straighten the leg. Bend the leg. And bend both legs. Straighten both legs. And let go of that front hand. Open up the back hand to the side. Feeling that stretch out. Keep that front hip down. That right hip down. Keep it down. You gotta keep it down. And cross it. Over. Over. Internally rotate. Oh, it's like torture. And come back and pull. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then. Excellent. Now, let's do our favorite rolling like a ball. How fun is that? So, the hands, the outside hand goes on the outside, the front hand is on the outside of the leg, 
and the back hand goes on the outside leg. Now, the whole idea is to keep rounded in a rounded spine, okay? So, we're rounding, and here we go. Rounding back to the shoulders, and come up and hold it. Roll back. Up and hold, don't go on your neck. Stay in a rounded spine, and hold it. And three more, one, hold it. Two more, hold it. Three, one more, hold it, stay. Keep the feet off the mat. Oh, that was so good. Roll back down. Front knee is in. The opposite, the outside of the hand goes on the outside of the leg towards the calf. The inside goes towards the knee. We double pull and we double pull. We double pull, double pull, double pull, double pull, double pull, double pull. Three more sets. One and double pull and two, whew, three and double pull. Now hug the knees into the chest. Arms go back, legs go forward on the inhale. Exhale, hug. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Three more inhale. Exhale. Shh. Two more inhale. Exhale. Shh. One more inhale. Exhale, hold it, and the feet go down. Oh, yes. Okay, we did our stretch. So we're able to do think um, double leg switch, okay? So right leg up, left leg out. And if you need to bend your knees, you can. We're gonna double pull and double pull. Two and double pull. Three, double pull. Four, double pull. Five, double pull. Six, seven, one more. Eight. And hug the knees in and put the feet down. Oh, you're doing so good, guys. Let's sit all the way up. Okay, so we're gonna face the front. I'm gonna open up the feet the width of your shoulder, a little past your shoulders, okay? Now, in every class, we need to get what for our spine? You should know this. Oh, I might have to ask this. Maybe I'll ask this as part of the quiz. <sighs> I'm so mean. I'm um, such a meanie. You need to get the four things of your spine in every class. We need to get flexion, extension, side bending, and rotation. Flexion, extension, side bending, rotation. Okay, so we did a lot of flexion. And so here's some rotation. We're gonna double sniff and we're gonna go to your left. And shh to the center. Rotate to your right. And shh to the left. Shh to the right. To the left. Shh, to the right. Now put the left forearm down. Reach the right arm up and over. Keep that left hip, I mean the right hip, planted onto the mat. And come up. Put the right forearm down. Reach the left arm up and over. Keep that left hip planted. And come up. Left forearm down, right arm up and over. And up. And right forearm down, left arm up and over. And come up. We're gonna do a little saw. We're gonna rotate to your left. Pull the navel up and over, rounding. Pinky goes towards the pinky toe. The back hand flips so the pinky faces the ceiling. And rounding up and to the center. Twist to the right, up and over, pinky towards the pinky toe. And rounding up to the center. One more each side. 
rotate, up and over. Now do a little saw here, saw, two, three, rounding up to the center, to the right, up and over. Saw, one, two, three, up and to the center. Yes, yeah, so that was rotation and lateral flexion. So we've done flexion, we did rotation and lateral. We'll get to extension in a minute, okay? So before we do extension, I wanna teach you something called boomerang. I know some of you have done it. I call it black swan or boomerang. So we'll go through it together, okay? We did teaser last week. So this week is a little boomerang. So. I want you to cross the downstage leg, downstage leg, over the upstage leg. Oh, such theater terms. Okay, so it's a, it's kind of like a teaser, but a little more fun. I think you'll like it. So we're gonna tuck the pelvis under. We round back. When the tailbone gets down, we're allowed to lift our legs up. The legs go up. They switch in the air. You round back. You go into a teaser position. Arms go up and swan lake. And roll all the way up. Okay, how fun is that? And point the feet nice and purdy, purdy. And rounding back. And legs up. Switch, roll up. And swan lake. And roll all the way up. Let's do one more each side. I don't want to break my window. Be reaching, reaching through the looking glass. And here we go. Tuck the pelvis under. Rounding back. Rounding, rounding up. Switch. Roll up. Woo. Up and over. Stack up. Just myself. One more. Rounding. Ooh. Lift, switch, rolling up, and over, and up. That's a little advanced, but I know you can do it. So if you can't do it, if that's too much for you, you know what we did last week and just go to the teaser from here to here. Okay. So that's your modification. And if not, you can just go up right to the hundreds position. Okay, all that flexion. What's the opposite of that? Extension. Okay, so lay your stomach down. Before we do extension, I wanna stretch the quads. So the right hand grabs the right foot, carefully of your knee, and just give that nice quad a stretch. Good. Nice. And put that foot down. Left hand grabs the left foot or the back, back leg. There you go. Ooh, feels good. Yeah, we use that quads a lot. So, and down, okay? Now, today we're gonna come up, we're gonna do double leg kick, single leg kick, excuse me. And we're gonna be pressing down on our arm. Now, I know what, that's, we did it earlier in class, retraction. No, look how gross that looks. I want up, lifting, protraction, lifting up. I want you to flex the downstage leg, the foot, downstage foot, and you gotta kick the booty two times. Kick, kick, then you gotta point the leg, extend it, and the leg goes down. Back leg, flex the foot, kick, kick, point, extend it, it lifts a little bit, and go down. Keep the hips down though. Flex that front foot, flex, flex, point, and down. Getting those back extensors, left foot, flex, flex, point, and down. Front leg, flex, flex, point, and down. One more, flex, flex, point, and down, point. Now my navel was in and up, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So we're gonna go down. Now let's do a little dancery extension, okay? So you wanna make sure you have room in front of your arms. So we're gonna start in a football goal pose. 
We're gonna push a marble with your nose and reaching up. So the gaze is looking down. What the gaze have to do with it? You don't wanna lift those head, that head up using that cervical spine. Long, long neck, lift the arms up an inch. Hands go forward to the fifth position. Hands go to your second position. Hands go to the back, to second, to fifth. To second, arms go down, lift up an inch, and go down. Yes, guys. Push a marble with your nose. A marble, I'm saying marble, it's my Boston accent. I say marble, marble. You gotta push it, reaching up. Arms up an inch. Arms go forward on your fifth position to your second, to the back, to the second, to the football goal post, down, lift up, and down. Do you like my sports analogy? Football goal post. One more, reaching up, hold it. Arms up an inch, arms forward, open, back, Open, down, go up a couple more inches, and down. Good, extension. The fourth, we did flexion, extension, side bending, rotation. And something you, meet, you might need to know for your final exam. Woo! Professor Master Skusa. Okay, what are we doing next? Let's do a little side series, okay? So I'll change it up from the other two. So you can either lay all the way down. I personally like to lay up here like this. I feel like I'm a little more lifted, a little more engaged. Reach the leg straight out. Yes, I want you to lift that top leg up and down. And up, just right up to your hip level and down. And up and down. And up. And down, up and hold it, and little circles. One, two, three, four. We'll do a dance with eight. Five, six, you can point that foot. Seven, eight the other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Turn out the legs. You're gonna flex the foot up and point it down. You don't go too high, up and down. Flex up, point down. Flex up, point down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Up, flex down. One more, point up, flex down. Bring the knees in, heels together. Don't go on your back. Just lift that top knee up and down. Keep the back leg back still, heels are together, toes are apart, and five more, one, two, three, four, five, excellent, and let's face the other way, I don't want my back to you, so I'll just flip the other way here, okay, reach the legs straight out, and lifting up here so you're not collapsed. What's that? Gross. And that's so pretty. Right, Mona? <laughs> and lift the leg up and down. You can flex that foot first. Up and down. Just go up to hip length. Up and down. Up and down. Four more. One and down. Two and down. Three. Four. And now what did I do? Oh, I did this. Flex up. Oh no, circles. So excuse me, one, whoopsie. Two, three. I'm losing my mind. Four, five, six, seven. Dancers, eight, eight the other way. One, two, you got it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And flex up. Point down, flex up, point down, flex up, point down, flex up, point down, 
Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Point up, flex down. Knees in, heels together. Lift the knee up and down. And up and down. And up and up. And up and up and up. Excellent. And let's do a little figure four stretch doing like this today. Leaning back on the hands. Go into extension here. Take the downstairs, make a press over, pushing that knee down, lifting that chest up. Good. A little piriformis stretch. And switch it to the other side. The side's a little tighter on me. And reach up, pressing that back knee down. Excellent. Let's see what time we're at. Oh, we got good time. Whoopsie. And let's do our famous seal. Okay, you know it's wrapping up. We get to seal. So we just got a couple more things. And then I'll just do a couple of things on the foam roller. And we'll do some more melt stuff later on in the series. Uh, later on in the um, semester, okay? So we're going to put that inside. Downstage hand inside. Upstage hand inside. We're going to round the spine, like rolling like a ball. We're going to three clicks. Click, 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 because it's so much fun. And back. Click, click. Oh, oh, oh. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. Click, click, click. One more. Click, click, click. Click, click. No hands. Cross leg over. Little Simone Biles. Olympics 2021. Okay. Whew. Good job, guys. Okay, we got the world famous push ups. So we're gonna do two sets. And let's start with the first one. Inhale. And exhale. Reach up and over. You're gonna walk out. Right, left, right. Hold it. Elbows are in. One, up. Two, up. Three, Four. Let's do four more. One. You can do them on the knees if you need to. Two. Whew. Three. Four. Walk back. Right. Left. Right. Rolling up. And bend the knees. And exhale. Open. And bend the knees. And exhale, reach up and over. Work. Walk out left, right, left. Now, if you don't have shoulder injuries, we're going to try to do internal rotation for four. One, two, three, four. Walk back. Left, right, left. Rolling up. Oh. Oh, that felt so good. Okay. So now, let's go into a plank. So, now put your forearms down. Excellent. Now, we're going to take the back leg, or the front leg, to the back. Hold that navel in. Take the back leg to the back. Make sure those hips are down, navel is in, working that transverse abdominis, scapula stability, and hold it. Hold it. Navel is in. Five, four, three, two, one. Bend in, bend in, and hold it. Child's pose. Catch your breath. I need to catch my breath. Girl. She is winded today. Woo! Okay. Let's go back. Okay. Let's do it one more time. We're going to add a little oblique action here. Okay. Forearm down. Forearm down. Right leg to the back. Left leg to the back. Hold it. 
hold it. Dip the right hip into the well. Bring it up, hold it. Left hip dips. Up and hold it. Right hip dips. Hold it. Left hip dips. Hold it. Right hip. Hold it. Left hip. Hold it. Stay. Bring in. Bring in. Child's pose. Excellent, guys. So, we're going to stand up. Roll up. I always like to finish class with this movement, but we're going to do some foam roller in a second. Just to give you a couple of things you can practice, you can work on if you have one. Inhale, bend the knees. And exhale. Just like we started class. Inhale. And exhale. Head up. One more inhale. And exhale. Palms face to leg. Lift the shoulders up. Roll them back. Set them. Palms forward. Look right. Look to your left. Sorry. Center. And right. Center. Excellent. So now let's grab your foam roller if you have one. Sorry. Grab a foam roller if you have one. And you're going to put it down on the ground. Like that. Okay? So, now. You're going to get on the foam roller. You're going to sit on the foam roller. And you're going to slide, roll the body down. You want to make sure you slide the booty all the way forward so you have space. Now, when you get on the foam roll, the first thing you should do is rock back and forth just to get that spine used to laying on a hard surface. My foam roll is the hard one, which I prefer the squishier one for this kind of stuff, but this is all I have available for me today. And so we're gonna just go back and forth for about 20 seconds. And then we're gonna to come to the center. Good. And now we're gonna do the pelvic tilts, tucking under and arching and tucking under and arching. Now you could go all the way up into a bridge, tuck under, peeling up, keep those ribs in and rounding down. It should feel like a nice little massage on your spine. And tucking under and lifting up and rounding down. And one more, under, lifting up and rounding down. Bring the hands out to the side. Yeah. Right leg tabletop, left leg tabletop. We're gonna roll the head up we're going to lengthen the right leg straight. Hold it. Oh, the mirror's there. And bring the right leg in. Left leg out. Left leg in. Roll up an inch. Roll down. Keep the feet up. Whew. You're going to roll up. Right leg straight. Hold it. Pressing down the right arm. Lift the left arm up if you can. Left arm down. Bend the right leg. Left leg out. Press it on left arm, lift the right arm up. Right arm down, bend the knees, roll up an inch, and roll down. Hey, you should feel the abdominal area. Good. So now, my favorite, roll off the foam roller. My favorite thing to do on the foam roller is to lay it this way. So, we're gonna lift the hips up, and you're gonna lay that foam roll underneath your sacrum, not your lower back, your sacrum. Sacrum is really important. You don't want it in that hollow space. You want it underneath your sacrum. If you wore a G-string, it'd be the triangle patch on your G-string if you wore one. Legs up. So this is a great exercise for you to do with the foam roller. Just nice circles here. Getting that lower back. Getting that nice blood flow. And then you're just going to reverse the circle. Yeah. Oh, it feels so good. Yes, this is from the melt technique. Myofascial energetic length technique. And it feels so good. And now the knees can go towards me. 
And you can do a little march here on that piriformis, get a little massage there. And come to the center. And it's the other way. A little march. And come to your center. And put the feet down. And you get rid of the foam roller. Good. The last little foam roller thing I'm going to do with you today is extension. So it's the thoracic spine extension, which is very important. It's probably the most important thing you can do with this, with this foam roller. So you want the foam roller to be right where those chicken wings are. <laughs> and reach the hands back and just get that nice little stretch. Don't go all the way back. I don't want you to lose, lose yourself. And just roll up. And again, reaching back at that extension. Oh yeah. And come up. Now bring the downstage elbow towards the hip. And come back. And switch it. And come back. One more each side. Switch. And back. And switch. And back. And hold it here. Take an inhale. And exhale. Okay, that was a couple of things that you can do on the foam roll. Of course, there's a million other things you can do, but those are some great things that you can do with the foam roll if you have one. Thank you guys so much. I miss you dearly. You're awesome. I'll see you real soon, hopefully in person. If not, I'll see you here, okay? Love you guys so much. Bye. Mwah.